In the Footsteps of Cain, the brother of Abel, and this is by our theologian friend GM, he says, hello, peace to you all. Revelations 2015, and if he was not found written in the book of life, he was cast in the lake of fire. In the lake of fire, I have nerves, I have agitation and insomnia, I have fear, I have insecurity, I am in a stormy psychological and physical state, everything is going wrong, I can't take it anymore, a little while and I will go crazy like a lion in a cage, like a dogfish in the sea. General issues and cases, personal issues and cases, everything seems to be falling apart around me and I'm desperately looking for the solution in pills, sessions, shopping, occupational therapy, etc., a jungle, a stormy sea. I throw it into self-promotion on social media, wearing my best fake self, raining likes from fellow patients in the jungle, in the ocean. And uh, by the, but the situation is getting worse and worse inside me, around me, something is missing from the well-planned scenario of my life. It's just that I've become an expert at hiding my condition, hiding the best inside me, the beast inside me, playing the role of successful and happy. I surrender to the beast, to the one who deceives me with placebo drugs, the one who has already chosen hell and is trying to take as many as he can with him. Revelation 2014 And death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Until I find myself hanging, leaving a note, until I harm someone else or myself to temporarily forget all this pressure in an evil moment that will lead me to the one described in the apocalypse, the second death. If I sure survive temporarily, then the situation returns much worse to become agony and pain, internal, silent, indescribable in words, a road to the second death. This is the taste of hell that my soul and my body experience, and this is my chance to understand what hell means before I get the permanent ticket down there and live it completely and eternally. To understand, to decide what I want in this life, but also what I will experience after physical death as a soul. Genesis 4-7, Sinners, be still, to thee is his aversion, and to thee are his beginnings. Are you sinning before God? Calm down, evil is in your power, and you can if you want to defeat it. All this is one thing, my refusal to accept my sin, to accept my contrary behavior, which makes me contrary to God, a God fighter, and takes me away from the source of life, the light. It darkens me, it stains me, it leads me to darkness, and it kills me. I refuse to accept this experience as a gift from God, an experience of experiencing the lack of God in my soul a lack that I choose and decide as well as the power to return to avert evil and defeat it, so that I may receive God's absolving grace for all my mistakes, my sins, the only redemption. Because we are all condemned and some ask for grace from the judge and get it, while some stubbornly and eternally deny it. Genesis 4.13 And Cain said to the Lord God, My cause is too great to let me go. Cain then cried out in despair and indignation to God. My crime and guilt are greater than divine pardon. The world will give me the bitter taste of sin. It will give me vinegar to drink. I will, it will make me a beast and a godfish. The world will give me the bitter taste of sin. Will God lead me, lend me a hand of help, forgiveness for sinners? Will he soon assure me that I have the power to repel him? If I believe in him and give him the freedom to support me so that I can step on the head of the evil and you will stop it. I will step on it simply with his own power. How do you kill God? But what do we do? We reject the divine paternal help, major intervention, my reason for leaving me. It is the misuse of the authority that God has given me that disables God's omnipotence. So because God does not die, I build the darkness of pain, suffering around me, technological and scientific progress, babble and kill myself. Where the beast becomes a kitten and the dogfish a goldfish. Dog shark. Now help is given to me in the church. 
in the sacraments of the church. I blame the priests and others who go to church, everyone, and I remain a beast and a dog shark. I roam the world like a beast in the jungle, like a dog shark in the sea. I do not enter the ark, the uh, hospital of souls where we are all sick, where we look like a strange circus that gives performances. I am the one called who is called by a beast to become a kitten and by a dog fish, a dog shark, a goldfish. I enter the beast, I look at, as, as, askance at the other sick, the other summoned, and I leave in disgrace from where? I'm leaving the place from which, from which, which for 2,000 years has produced countless numbers of known and unknown saints, cured doctors, and we leave or do not enter at all where the cold has the opportunity to become the chosen, the secretly mentally ill, the sick and suffering with patience to be cured. Where are we going? Out in the flood, looking in technology and science and progress when we lack God? We follow Cain, who chose technology, science, progress, Babel, to replace God in him. And once upon a time, there was a lion, he entered the ark calmly, and quietly sat like a kitten in the corner and was saved from the flood. The ark had a family inside and was full of beasts. They were saved. If I want to be saved, I must enter the ark and be a lion like a quiet kitten, like take a corner, secure myself from the flood, and be pulled not to come out. When the time comes only to go out and return to the new world, to heaven and to heaven with my soul, Otherwise, let me remain with the other beasts and dog sharks to eat each other forever. In the shoes of Cain, walking in his footsteps on the path he walked. Good enlightenment and beginning of repentance. And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. This is written by Theologian GM. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.